Hello and welcome to Sim Airport. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the kind of baggage underground system that you would see in your kind of normal conventional airport. Um, yeah, and I'll be taking you through step by step. I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is, so sorry, one thing that I've already done is I've already built a small hangar and you can build that by just literally searching hangar. Uh, oops hanger there and it's come up and I've literally just put that there and I'll, I'll explain kind of why we need that and what it does later on. For now let's go and get some conveyor and as soon as we get the conveyor we can see that there's these little kind of arrows which indicate where the conveyor needs to be attached to and you're going to put the conveyor like so and then we need a conveyor down transition and these are really really useful um, to take the bag to the level just below and you want to put that at the end of your conveyor line and if we get some more conveyor we can connect those up great awesome and now you can see we've got a baggage claim zone here so for that I'm going to need a baggage carousel and particularly the one that says from below because we're going to be using a system that's below ground so if I press R to rotate I'm just going to yeah, that's about right. And I'm going to put one there as well. That's awesome. Um, I'm going to speed that up. The carousels are done, and now they're just making the rest of the conveyor. And that's great. And now if we go down to our level kind of minus one, I've already laid some foundation. And we can see, so this is just the foundation here that's going to help us. Um, and we can see the transitions that you've got here. And here we've got our carousel kind of points and if we go to conveyor it should show us yeah that's awesome so now what we need the first thing that we need is so we've got two down transitions right we haven't just got one and that means that you know these people could be going on flights to all sorts of places and these bags need to be sorted before we send them up to a depot so um what we what we're going to need is a baggage hub to sort the bags and I'm going to rotate this so that the inlet is closest yeah that's great okay nice so now that's done I'm going to get some conveyor if I can and I'm going to connect the conveyor to the baggage hub and I'll explain a little bit more about the baggage hub as well in a second when they've completed uh, completed it. And then once the bags are kind of sorted from the passengers that have just arrived, they need to be sorted again so they go onto the right planes. Um, so we're gonna need another baggage hub, which I'm gonna make whilst the builders are sorting that out. Uh, I'm gonna rotate it so that the inlets are on that side. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. And I need to change. So this is really important, guys. So obviously the passengers are arriving at the airport and their bags are going to be consumed by this baggage hub. That's why this is called a consumer. This one says hub to hub, which it is the wrong key part. So I'm going to change that from hub to hub by right clicking. And I'm going to just call that a consumer, which is what it is. And then it will allow me to connect the last conveyor to the baggage hub and yeah so i hope that makes sense you can also change them by using this um kind of item menu here but i just like to click it because i think it's nicer okay cool so the bags have all been have bag the bags are going to come to the baggage hub get sorted and then they need to go to the next hub so that they can be sorted onto the correct plane but before we connect those up what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a um baggage depot so if we go to our search menu and search depot or baggage, which is what I did, and you want to do it so it's this way around. So the cars will come here from the hangar, pick up the bags from this area and take them to the plane for loading. Um, cool. So if I go downstairs, that automatically creates these two transitions, the endpoint ports. Um, yeah, so, and it automatically assigns them to consumer or producer. 
And so the consumer is the one that's going to kind of collect the bags from the passengers and it's going to take them up to the depot. So let's connect that now. So let's go here and let's search conveyor. Okay. Now also bear in mind, because this key part needs to be hub to hub, we can't use our usual conveyor. We have to use a two way conveyor and that's cool because um, it doesn't cost any more money anyway, and this is a much more better way method of doing it with the baggage hubs. So I'll pivot up there, and you notice it didn't let me connect that there, and that's because this is the wrong key part. It needs to be a hub to hub. Yeah, cool. And now it will let me. Uh, now it will let me connect this. Okay, nice. So those two are both conectado. I'm just going to speed this up. I'm going to connect these to. So all I did there was connect the producer to the consumer. Um, and that is going to consume those bags produced by this baggage hub. And then they would have now been sorted to the correct plane and come out at the perfect time by the baggage hub. And then the car from the baggage from the hangar will collect these bags and take them to the plane. So yeah, I hope that makes sense. Let's finish. Yeah, so that's kind of the pathway for the people that have just arrived at the airport and are getting ready to catch their planes. Now we need to do it the other way around for the patient, the, the passengers that have arrived um, on the plane and are looking to leave the airport. So um, again, the bags will come from the 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 baggage car will collect the bags from the plane. It will take them to the depot, which you've already built. And then they'll go to this side instead. So they'll go to the producer. Uh, if I go to conveyor, you'll be able to see. So when you click conveyor, you get the arrows again. So you can see these bags are just coming out. Um, and that's because the, they're the bags from the, the passengers that have just landed um, at the airport. So we need to change that key part from producer to consumer. And then because this is a two way conveyor belt, the bags from here will go again along the same line. And that's why it's got two ways. So it's really cool. And then they come to this baggage hub, they get sorted again, and then they will go to each of these carousels where the passengers can collect their bags. Conveyor. I'm going to do it so like that. And I'm going to do this one like, oops. So you can't put two, I have to do this really awkward route because you're not allowed to like put two conveyors next to each other. It won't allow it. So it has to be kind of, yeah, this really weird way. I'll speed it up so they can start creating it and you can see. Okay. Yeah. When you, when you finish making the depot, make sure you assign it to each of the gates. Otherwise it's not going to work. So make sure you assign it and obviously make sure you build your small hangar and just a quick one. So when you build your hangar, you can you need to buy a baggage car. So if you just click a small hangar and then press assign vehicles, there'll be an option for you to buy. I've already bought, oops, I've already, um, I've already bought mine. So that's why it says slot one baggage car. But, um, if you haven't, you need to buy one. So the passengers are coming in. They, um, will deposit their bags, which hopefully we should see any time now. Okay, cool. Someone's deposited that blue bag. And what's really cool is if we go downstairs, you can literally see the same bag going along the system. But don't you think that's so cool? Okay, maybe just me. Um, so yeah, that will go, um, that gets sorted. It gets sorted again, and then it will go up to the next transition element where it will be waiting at the baggage depot for it to be picked up and you can see the baggage car is already kind of active and at work so obviously before the bag the Ford before the baggage car goes to pick up the bags from the depot it has to unload them which is what it's doing now um, so I'll just speed that up so right now it's just unloading the baggage and I think now it's loading the baggage <laughs> um, which is going to take back there and load the flight with which is super cool and that's pretty much it. That's literally done. That's kind of everything. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching this tutorial on setting up a baggage system. And yeah, maybe see you in the next one.